if I'm right regarding their roles, who is the best value? Subscribe, please! Today, I just want to quickly talk about the drip marking thing that happened for Zenless Zone Zero. We know which characters are coming up next, and those are Shinyi, Seth, and Jane Doe, I do believe. So, uh, unfortunately, as you can see, I've got the, the, the pictures out here because I don't know why they're doing this with Zenless Zone Zero. The drip marketing is kind of it's kind of iffy. Um, on Twitter, they actually don't show full body pictures of them. Uh, so I had to find them somewhere else. I think they do full bodies in the videos that they posted on YouTube, but maybe on Instagram as well, but not on Twitter, which is really annoying, especially because we get like the full splash art for like uh, um, Star Rail and the full body picture with the element, etc. with um, Genshin. So it's it's. Yeah, I don't know why they're doing this. I really don't like it, but it is what it is. So here, I'm not going to be talking about the the small lore snippet they always give. Uh, we're just going to jump straight into it. So what we know from the cinematic and from the story, obviously, this girl is from the police force, right? Um, which is called... I, I don't remember, honestly. It's fine. Like, she's from the criminal investigation team, I, I believe. Um, I think the, the, the team they're from is called... NEPS, N-E-P-S, that I, I believe that is the, the name of the faction, and both Seth and Jane Doe are also from NEPS, from what we know, what we've seen from the video where they all, uh, they, they did the trailer where we see all of them fighting together, right, so we can assume they're all from the same squad. So, um, first of all, Chinyi, she's in the main story, like chapter 2 interlude or something. I, I'm not going to spoil anything because I don't want to. Uh, I just, you know, make sure that you guys get to enjoy the story. Anyway, um, she has these like, it's, a, it's like a bow staff that split into three. It actually has a name. It's a, it's a martial weapon. Uh, but it's really cool to see a character with this kind of um, uh, weaponry because it's kind of uncommon. Um, jelly, especially with like police force, they tend to have like a baton or tomfa, so that's kind of cool. Um, also, you can see she, she has like the, the basket shoes, like a lot of people do uh, in this game. It's like the retrofuturistic aspect. Uh, you can see she has like line here. I, I'm not going to talk about why she has those things here, uh, but uh, yeah, I kind of like her design. Um, it, it's kind of simple. It does reflect like the, the police aspect. It's kind of similar to Zhu Yuan, right? Which is the next character, phase two of uh, 1.0. So this is most likely going to be phase one of 1.1, right? Um, as to what she's going to be, in my opinion, she's going to be a five star. Uh, she seems to be a very important character. Um, she, she seems to have a, a decent amount of uh, experience in the field, right? So I think she's going to be a five star. Uh, she has a double ponytail. I kind of like the hair ornament. I think she's cute. She has a lot of green, blue, obviously, a little bit of golden, and then some small detail, but that's just like the police stuff. So, uh, uh, yeah, not much to say about this. I think she's really cute. I actually do like her character. Um, I do like her personality. I think she's she's quite interesting, and I'm looking forward to hearing more about her. Uh, now, if I had to guess what she's going to be, I think she's going to be a five star from Neps, of course. And I would say, uh, knowing what I know from the story, I think she's actually going to be electric. Uh, and I think she's going to be a stun character. So I think she's going to be a stun electric character, which might be a straight up upgrade from MB. Now, don't panic because the game has the system where there's like faction stuff. Even if you really like MB, you can probably still use MB in your team with the cunning hairs and stuff like that. So she's still going to have some value. Also, obviously, if you want to save for another character, you don't have to pick her. MB is still going to be valuable as a free character. Definitely. Uh, now, yeah, I definitely see her as a stun electric five star character from Neps. Uh, so that's my thought. Am I going to pull for her? Uh, I'll talk about it afterwards. So next character, we have Seth. He has a, a full name. I feel like it's Seth Lowell, something like that, which makes sense because he's a wolf. Lowell, it's it's etymologically speaking, it means wolf. Uh, it's like Lue, for example. Anyway, so I think that's his full name, but his name is Seth. That's what it is. 
Um, looking at him, I feel like his design is a bit more bland, a bit more, well, less cluttered, I guess, in a sense. Not that this is, like, bad or anything, but this one is a bit more streamlined. And I think it has more intricate details. That's a more, a better way to say it. So while he's a wolf boy, he's kind of cute with the big tail and stuff. Um, he's more on the human side than a character like Lycan, obviously. Uh, so I do feel like he's going to be a four star. Now, looking at him, he has a big shield and a baton, right? Which is like standard police stuff. Um, so I feel like he's finally going to be or he's going to be a new defender character in my opinion. Right now we only have Ben, who's free by the way, uh, from uh, Billabog. And here I think he's going to be a defender character from Neps as well, the police force, right? Uh, I feel like he's going to be a four star. Now as for his elements, I would say it's probably physical, honestly. I would say physical defender. Um, so that's my thoughts. Uh, there it is. So, that's what my thoughts are. Uh, I'm not far enough in the story. If it's possible to have him as a trial character, I, I would not know that. So anyway, moving on. We, uh, yeah, I don't really have much to say here. I don't really like the pants. I honestly, not gonna lie, I don't really like his outfit. Uh, I kind of like the wolf boy aesthetic, but that's pretty much it. He has white hair and the cute ears, uh, which, uh, you know, me too. But obviously I'm cuter. It is what it is. Uh, but yeah, the outfit doesn't really do it for me. Uh, if I get him, that's great, but otherwise I don't really care, to be honest. Uh, it might be useful for me if I... Okay, what I'm cur actually curious about is whether or not he's going to have some coordinated attack the same way that Ben has coordinated attack with um, Coleta. Uh, I wonder if like every defender character is going to have like some coordinated attack with the rest, right? That would be really cool. So I could see him maybe having something like that, which would be awesome. Moving on. On so there she is, Jane Doe. I think looking at her, she's obviously gonna be a five star. Of course, they're gonna want to sell her. She's um very uh let's say erotic. <laughs> uh like yeah, look at that. The what's it called again? Ultimate territory. The it's something like that. Anyway, the the thigh squish, very thick, the teared, teared um tights. Uh, I think she's very cute. I actually really like the, the fur or the color here. Obviously, that smile, very, very cute. The tail that she uses as like a, a weep um, with like a dagger at the end. Um, so yeah, looking very, very good. Um, I like the, the haircut. She has the little ears here. Uh, some people were speculating that she might be a cow girl. Um, I think she mentions maybe being a cat girl, but I think... Her name is Jane Doe, right? And for those who don't know, Jane Doe is an appellation that you give to when a dead body is found and there is no identification yet, um, or when you can't identify the, the deceased. If it's a man, you call him John Doe. If it's a girl, they call Jane Doe. So to me, that means that sh that's not her real identity. So I, I feel like she's probably messing with people and... Um, so I feel like the, the fact that she's calling herself a cat girl might be a lie, but it could be true. I mean, there are some girls, some cats with uh, more droopy ears, I suppose. So who knows? Who knows? Uh, that said, I think her design is really cool. I actually really like the, the kind of um, bluish gray outfits. I, I think the shorts really, really cool with the little like spikes here. Obviously, the asymmetry is lovely with uh, here. It's being held here like a garter, and on the other side, it's a, it's a full tight. Uh, the rib adds some to the aesthetic, in my opinion. And I think she looks fantastic. I like the tail, I like the dagger. Now, I think she's going to be the phase 2 5-star character from 1.1. And looking at her, she kind of reminds me of a normal type Pokemon, if that makes any sense in the design. Uh, so I would say she's probably going to be a physical character. Now, what is she going to be? I feel like either she's going to be a DPS physical... Or she's going to be a DPS. I could see her. We already have a, a good amount of physical DPS character, right? So maybe she would be a physical anomaly, I would say. Uh, I guess she could be a support. But if I had to say, we don't really have physical anomaly, do we? No, I don't think we do. So I feel like she would be physical anomaly, like that character that was going to help. Like I, Looking at her, I, it doesn't scream stun. I think like she's more agile and she's gonna build like a lot of anomaly stack. 
to get that assault going. So that's what I would say. So I think here we have stun electric, defender physical, and anomaly physical. That would be what I would think, what I would say. Uh, now, who would I pull for, personally speaking? Uh, I think I would probably save, skip her, and pull for Jane Doe, because that's my favorite design. Now, if I'm right regarding their roles, who is the best value? In my opinion, the best value is probably going to be her right now, because we are in a meta, the game revolves currently revolves around stun, um, and days, right? Uh, so having another 5-star days, especially if you don't have Lycan and Coleda to a lesser extent, she is going to be incredibly viable, incredibly useful to your account. So I think for most people, the best pick would probably be Xinye, right? Um, so yeah, that, that would be my thought. Personally, my priority is going to be Jane Doe. It is what it is. I think she looks amazing. So yeah, that's what I'm going to go for. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know who you intend to pull for. Let me know what you think the elements uh, rank, 5 star, 4 star, or S rank, A rank are. Uh, and all the good good. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, all the good good. And I'll see you next time.